kind of felt like pooping yeah. <laughs> with my vagina. I like putting things on my tummy. The feeders are the one that's like, what is your problem? I don't understand. <laughs> hey, I'm Desiree Birch, and this is Fat Chat. Our guest today is a fearless writer, comedian, and actor. Please give a warm welcome to Evelyn Ma. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi. How are you? It's so How good to have you here. Okay, so Sweden born, uh -huh. Chinese background. Yes. And then you also grew up in India? No, your mom grew up in India. My mom grew up in India. So it's like, I'm such a mutt culturally. Yeah. Uh, ethnically, 100% Chinese. Okay. Like pure. You're not really kidding about this mixed bag thing because there's a picture of you over here. How cute <laughs> is this? Like, first of all, there's a lot going on. <laughs> also, your face in this, it's just like, why? Why? I basically thought I was Indian until like I was 10 or something when I met other people. They're like, no, we're gonna make fun of you They're like, for being you Chinese. You can stick with Asian and that's as much as you exactly. get. Exactly. So now, Evelyn, we are going to have an object brought out by our amazing dumb waiter, Jacob. Oh my God. So this is uh, a bamboo steamer. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my God, there's actually dumplings in there. They look That's beautiful. So great. Why dumplings? Yeah, it's uh, a, a, basically I am Asian. And, uh, <laughs> uh, just to break it down for anyone who's just joining us, <laughs> Evelyn's <laughs> Asian. Um, and this and this. Um, <laughs> My tummy, not my vagina. <laughs> my gynecologist told me that my cervix is tilted, which is basically saying, saying you have a slanted vagina. vagina. <laughs> and I'm like, even and my vagina? <laughs> I'm so Chinese. <laughs> so I grew up, I was a chubby kid, and uh, I've always been chubby. And yes. so, gold you star fatty. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm fat. Fatty. Right? I just never wasn't, right? And like, yeah, I just <laughs> it came out and I was like, Mm, and exactly. then everyone's like, you're gonna grow out of that. And I'm like, ha, 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 we'll see about that. So the thing is like Chinese people are super blunt when it comes to like size and everything. And when I when I was a baby, my grandmother, she was like just cradling me. She told my mom, she was like, yeah, your daughter's gonna be big because her Like she skin, can really just pinch this and be like, she's, she's gonna stay. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna stay this fat baby throughout her entire life. I know this. <laughs> basically what she said. So when like I was what would up. they say that like that's extra blunt, like more than any family would say about their fat. Sort oh, of they're just be, they just go like, oh, you're fat. You should lose weight. And like, and you're like, <laughs> do you think I don't know what a mirror is? They never had solutions. They course, would always say, course. just lose weight. And then they'd be like, just eat. Why aren't you eating? <laughs> just eat, please eat. The it's feeders are the one that's like, what is your problem? I don't understand. <laughs> exactly. Why do you love, why are you always comfort eating? I mean, you're so terrible and you're lazy and why aren't you doing anything about this problem? And you're exactly. like, I, you guys are sadists. Yeah. I'm not even Chinese, you may have guessed, but I've experienced this in that I um, was in a hot yoga class once and afterwards we were all like sitting in the wall like, uh, there was this like older Chinese lady who was sitting next to me. She was like, oh yeah, you know, cause we gotta do something about this. And then she kept poking me in the gut with her thumb like that, that right there. That, and I was like, do I know you? Like at all? <laughs> like she's like, that right there, you know, that, 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 that. Are yes. you seeing this? Yes. Are you seeing it? I've been seeing it Should for 30 plus party? years, right? Yeah. You know, and she's an old Chinese lady, so I wasn't gonna fight with her because I was gonna lose the fight. But like, seriously. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah, on, definitely. I know enough to know that. I know this sounds awful, but like I really laugh at it because it's so ridiculous. And I love my mom, she's great. Um, Everyone loves our moms, they're all <laughs> great. They all ruin us, so yes, continue. They all ruin us. Because <laughs> we were just sitting there and eating dinner one night and she just suddenly like, she had a thought and she just went, Evelyn, after you lose weight, I think you should get your nose done. And I know it's making white people in this <laughs> uncomfortable uh -huh. because you're not used to this bloodness. Um, Why do you think you the nose so job funny. first is maybe like a motivator? Like, As hey, we could have a body to match this <laughs> nose, come on. I got offered just flat out cash. Did you? Yeah, my parents are like, we will pay you like by the pound. Oh. I think that's just American capitalism. Yeah. They were like, we will offer you cash money. I don't know if this is a thing for you. Okay. But when it comes to dating, because I'm on all the apps and stuff. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's very <laughs> My stressful. condolences for your life. So the thing is like, if you date as a plus size lady, but also a woman of color, mm -hmm. I find it, I'm like, whenever somebody's interested, I'm like, okay, I gotta find out if you have a fat fetish mm -hmm. or if you have like an Asian fetish. Cause it's one or the other. It's one of the nine other. Nine and a half times out of 10. Oh my God. And if I can like disclude those, then I'm like, why? <laughs> 
don't want to be a member of any club that would have me as a member, actually. Exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> to put it bluntly, you come from the most coveted uh, oh of God. exotic delights, yeah. the Asian female, right? Yeah, but then yeah. also you're in the Venn diagram that's also oh, part yeah. of the completely abject worst possible thing to be, which exactly. is a fat person. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. do you get like do you get people who you can look at and be like, ah, oh, Asian fetish? Like some people include their Instagram handles and it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> like for stocking purposes. And then you just go through their photos and yeah. you're like, Oh, okay, one Asian girlfriend, mm, two Asian girlfriends, okay. <laughs> oh, you studied in Sinjin? I don't think Ma so. And sometimes it's just mango. You're like, man. You just go into mango. Oh, gr come on. <laughs> You're like, so I don't squirt purple milk out of my nipples. <laughs> it's you out of my vagina. To, actually, and only if you're really good at what you're exactly. supposed to do. Exactly. You have to earn the purple squirt. <laughs> A fat fetish guy, they usually put it in the profile where they say, I like curvy girls. Yeah. But I've never been with a dude that's that's into the, it, it makes me feel dirty. The thing is, I wind up not going home with a lot of the, the fat fetish guys because it's always this thing. I'm 5'11", a guy who's all of five foot two is like, and you're already like, I know. Five foot two. And the, the thing is like, I wouldn't be mad if he was like the tiniest Mac in the world, but he's always, always like, Hi, I like you. And I'm like, I'm not a fucking chocolate factory for you to suckle on. Like, this is, I can see the look in his eyes. Like, I want to climb up on you like a baby fucking koala and just like, Ugh. and you're like, gross. Like, I do not want to make love to someone who thinks he's my kid. Like, gross. Like, if he was a tiny player, it would be a different thing. Yeah. But he's just kind of like, hi, I like you. And you're like, fuck off. <laughs> now it's time for part of the show that I like to call Fat, Fast, and Furious. So I'm just gonna throw a question at you. First thing that comes to your mind, okay. blurt it out. What is your fat superpower? Oh my God, I like putting things on my tummy when I, have you seen that? I think it's TV that Kevin Trey. Smith movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where Drew Barrymore's pregnant and she puts popcorn on her tummy. Yep. And I tried to do that and I was like, it works. And also I put things under my boobs. Yep, exactly. I mean, I was like, how long has that quarter been down there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How was your first time as a fat person? Like, oh, as sexually. a fat person, how was your first time? <laughs> like when the the penis went in, yeah, it kind of felt like pooping. Yeah, <laughs> but with but with my vagina. <laughs> And he was like, don't just, push me out. And you're like, I got it, man. Exactly. It just kept coming back in. Like, <laughs> the, you're like, this yeah. is the worst crap I've ever so, taken. <laughs> that is the best. Was it good for you? Like, no, it was really confusing. <laughs> Great job. Great job, you. This was so much fun. Can we try this one? It kind of felt like I was pooping. Because that's my favorite new story.